In our language article this month, we're talking about how English is the common denominator. And of course, we're referencing the ESL classes there in the United States and how a lot of people are coming from different countries. But the common denominator is the fact that they are studying English together. We have Hannah back with us. Hi, Hannah. Hey, good to be here again. Hannah, have you studied a second language before? I have. I actually studied Spanish mm -hmm. all the way from elementary school through college. Um, I feel like I was a pretty fast learner, you know, doing flashcards, memorizing mm. vocab. That was pretty easy for me sure. up until college. Yeah. And my college professor said, no English, which means no English. Don't use English oh, in the classroom, yes. only Spanish. And then things got a lot harder. But it was actually really helpful. I found that I had really been using English as a crutch. It was mm. making it harder for me to learn. Sure. So forcing myself to speak and get more comfortable with Spanish made me more conversational. And even though it's been a few years now, I still remember a lot of words and phrases. Absolutely. Well, were there any other challenges that you faced that maybe some of our viewers could also relate to with regards to learning a second language? Yeah, like, like I said, it's hard to be conversational. It's hard to you know, speak up rather than just maybe write down. Mm -hmm. But it's so important just to open your mouth and do your best. And if your pronunciation is a little off or you sound a little weird, mm -hmm. you know, just be okay with that. Absolutely, I agree with that. Well, there is a particular line in our article that I want to uh, remind you of, and then we'll talk about it. Um, there's a line in day two that really stood out, and it's from Anna Maria Vega. She said, I feel so happy to learn because we live to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. I really thought that was special. How has yeah. having a community played a significant role in your life? Mm -hmm. Well, when I think of community, I think of a verse from the Bible. It says, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Mm -hmm. To me, that means that a friend, a true friend, is someone who always sticks by your side and friends can be like family mm. in the way they help you through tough times. Mm -hmm. So I'm incredibly blessed that I've had a great community of people who gather around me during life's toughest times. Mm. So whether I'm bringing a new baby home from mm. the hospital, if there's a health problem, if we're moving to a new house, yeah. we've had friends who have done so many things for us. They've cooked meals, babysat our yeah. kids, prayed for us, encouraged us. So I... I would be nowhere without my community. Yes, community is critical, especially mm -hmm. when you live outside of your home country, right? Yeah, it's yeah. even uh, that much more important, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, we learn in our article how people moved from their home country to the U.S., and we know that there are challenges that arise as a result, and you've done the same Anna, you've moved from your home country. What is uh, just one uh, challenge that you faced uh, during that? Mm. Yeah, it's been a challenge because you can't prepare for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can research and learn about the customs and culture, but they're going to be unknowns. So I think I've just learned to expect the unexpected, let go of control, and be okay with things surprising me. That's all how right. you learn and grow. Well, thanks for sharing your insights with us, Hannah, and thank all of you for tuning in. We'll see you next time here on Insights.